guys, welcome back to another video. This is a motivation here on Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about being steward of time. To begin, we're going to start off with the definition of stewardship. Stewardship is utilizing and managing all sorts God provides for the glory of God and the betterment of His creation. Now we're getting into the definition of time. Time is a defined, continued progress of existence and events in the past, present, and future regarding as a whole. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 2, the NLT version says, A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to harvest. Get into my note. Time is created in a new day, but time is destroyed as the day go by. It's important to choose your time wisely and create a schedule that accommodates everything that is important in your life. Time with God, time with your Bible, time for school, time for your fun and more. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 3 it says, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build up. Get into my notes. In life we have to set aside time for yourself to grow and heal. Our bad habits need to be teared down in order to build ourselves up. Our pain, hurt, and traumas need to be dealt with in order to heal and grow. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 4 it says, A time to cry, a time to laugh, a time to grieve, a time to dance. And into my notes. Then the side time for yourself is important. We go through situations in our lives and we need to address them with whatever emotion you feel as long as those emotions are not sinning against God. Also having time to enjoy yourself as long as you're not sinning against God. In Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 12 through 13 it says, so I conclude there is nothing better than to be happy and enjoy yourself as long as we can. And people should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor, for these are gifts from God. And into my notes. It's very important to enjoy yourself and be happy. Do what you enjoy and do what makes you happy. Eat, drink, go out and use what God has gifted to us. But remember, whatever you do, don't let it be against God. And finally, in the final verse, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 22, it says, I saw there is nothing better for people to be happy in their work. That is our lot in life. And no one can bring us back to see what happens after we die. And into my notes, in your talent and give, be happy in them and use them to the fullest. Bring glory to the Father's name and be happy using and give. As always, remember to be steward of your time. Organize your time properly. That way you accommodate all the important things in your life. Schedule time for God. Schedule time for yourself. Schedule time to have fun. Schedule time to deal with situations in your life. It's very important to make sure you organize time for every single thing. Create a schedule. That way each and every day you can follow all the important things and do all the important things that you need to do. Thank you guys for watching the video. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for coming back. If you haven't already liked the video, hit a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Turn your post notification. That way, anytime I upload, YouTube will send you a notification. This is Motivation for Young Christian, the Mile Guide. Peace.